I am currently at Woodbine Beach. And let's see if I can get a better view of this. We've had a small lake up here. And it was very quaint and nice. But we didn't know that basically it would extend almost half a kilometer out in the beach area. Part of the problem, at least how I see it, and you can see over here, sand mounds. There's a problem with the sand mounds. If they think they can just dump new sand onto the beach area, there's a problem. The whole section over in here used to be where a lot of birds culminated. They still do, because it's shallow enough. They also defecate in that area. So a few things are popping into my head. The first thing is we're losing the beach, which means it's going to be a bit of a hurt on tourism in the area for the summer. We may not have the whole beach to ourselves this summer. The second problem is over here. In the break, uh, past the breakwater and into the biggest section of the beach near the volleyball courts. And all that bird feces in the water, and they're just going to bulldoze sand on top of it. Is that going to just create a really big health problem when all of that crap in the water breaks down and starts leaching through the sand? Or is it just going to stay under the water? Is it going to release into the air? Are we going to have a toxicity problem? Are people going to be walking across the beach, maybe cut themselves on a rock, which happens here or there. It's normally not even a big deal, but it's going to have uh, leftover fecal matter in it if they bulldoze it up by mistake. The third problem, as I see it, is something that not a lot of people talk about. And it's the homeless issue, because the beach area through the Woodbine Beach area is a stopover and often an overnight stay camping ground for a lot of homeless people who traverse between the downtown, which is in that direction, and way over there in the bluff area where a lot of camping goes on. There's the problem of what has happened to the beach over in the bluff area, which is literally on level with the water. It's probably gone now. And there's a lot of runoff tunnels that basically are from the runoff up here runs down into the water. That might be gone too. Or filled up. And those become homes for people or temporary houses. Or homeless who traverse back and forth between the services in downtown and the services in the East End. They get bothered less in the East End, so they come out here. So they're going to lose. Whole sections of breakwater there are either going underwater or underwater. The other problem is a lot of them use these rocks as walls and shelters. That has now become dangerous because over there a lot of the rocks have shifted at least a meter and are unstable. I'm standing on a section that is on hard ground. So that's this stable. I'm at least two meters up from the water. But some of these waves are coming up almost to the middle line of the breakwater, which means spray is over top and a few meters back. And I just got hit with water. So I'm getting down. So what's going to happen this summer? Are we not going to have much of a beach? Are people going to get foot infections? And are the homeless going to lose one of the more private places where they don't get bothered by people? Um, whew, that was close. Dunno. This is Woodbine Beach right now. Mostly, the section right here is almost half or about half underwater. Other sections of the beach are about half underwater as well, so something's going on. There are earth moving vehicles on the far side here, a few of them. But they're going to need a lot more than a few earthworkers and about 
20 little berms of sand to push onto this to actually make this better. Now, this was always a problem because the beach was always being eroded. But today, and I can't even tell if it's high tide or not, because the water is literally in so far and so much of it is being swelled up by this weather system that's come through. I can't tell. I think it's high tide. I can't be sure. But the water now breaks about five meters further inland. And most, if not all, almost all, the lifeguard stations on this side of the main lifeguard house are gone. They're just underwater. Or rather the legs on them underwater. They still stick out of the water. <laughs> 